to it. Episode 12. How many more episodes will we have to, before we finish Necrom? I don't know, but at this rate, with how long it's taken me to do public dungeons and companion quests, <laughs> it takes me a while. But thankfully, the two public dungeons are done, and the two companions are done, so I do not need to worry about that in the future. We can now get on with main quest and side quests. So we're going to hand in the grimoire first, then we'll talk to Leomil as we are here, and then see where that leads. I mean, this is our boss and our delve. Okay, that's what we have for our dailies, but we'll see. Um, for now, let's get on it, and hopefully you guys are still enjoying and still uh, interested in how this story unfolds. So here, safer. We meet again, traveler. Have you found another one of our missing ciphers? Or a volume of the Numinous Grimoire, perhaps? I found Safa, Cipher... Uh... Tazolt dead? I found Cipher Tazolt dead? She had a letter that mentioned you? The Black Salt is dead? That is unfortunate. She was a promising Cipher. I look Flat forward salad? to many profitable discourses her? with her. But Apocrypha holds many dangers for mortals. What kind of situation could she have gotten herself into? The letter was only signed A, but I found this strange book with her. Why, this is the first volume of the Numinous Grimoire. It's one of the tomes that went missing from our collection. Mm -hmm. A dangerous book of forbidden knowledge. It destroys the mind of any mortal who reads it. I'd better take that. Very well, here you go. This is troubling. Talak Salt should you have known better. better than to meddle with the Numinous Grimoire. I must look into this. Thank you for bringing back this book, and the news of Cypher to Loxalt's fate. Here, a reward for your trouble. Hmm. Weird, weird, um... I set, okay. A strange tale. Why would this mysterious A kill a Cypher who did as they asked? What's behind the promise to read the book together? Well, if you find any other dead Cyphers or missing books in your travels, come tell me. Considering we handed one in on the last episode, I believe, or the episode before, I am not going to go through this again. So, if you want to know that dialogue and what's been said, Let's go ride. look at the other episodes. I'm not doing it a second time. Not when I want to. I'm keen to get on with the rest of the zone. I'm even debating, depending how the inventory goes towards the end of this event, doing more. Over here, Proxy. Over here? Oh, hello! I saw you there. Hi. I trust your trip through the Endless Library was not too unsettling. No. The winding paths no. of Apocrypha can prove troubling to those unfamiliar with its preternature. Cypher's Midden contains a wellspring of knowledge. Shall we begin our research? How are we going to find anything useful in all these books? The Ciphers of the Eye offer hospitality and refuge to mortals who arrive in Apocrypha, whether purposefully or by accident. However, I am reluctant to involve them in this endeavor. Fortunately, I have my own methods for conducting research. Uh, What sort of methods? The contents of these stacks change from moment to moment, such as the nature of this realm's thirst for knowledge. I can prepare a spell scroll for each of us. As you search, it will dredge up anything related to the parameters I set for the spell. Hold on. I was not really listening. I was listening, but I wasn't. Uh, contents of this change from moment to moment, such as the nature of this realm's first knowledge. I can prepare a spell scroll for each of us. As you search, it will dredge up anything related. Oh, parameters? All research requires parameters. This spell should locate information pertaining to the Fulcrum Obscura, mm. the Rite, and Torvasard's lost dream. Use the scroll's enchantment to aid your search. Then return here, and we shall compare notes. All right, I'll, I'll see what I can find. Scour the stacks, Proxy. The magicka I infused into your scroll shall assist you by retrieving any relevant tomes from their resting place. Meet me in my nearby study when you have completed your search. You have a study in Apocrypha? 
What a curious query. Where else would I research and ponder the knowledge that the one who knows deigns to share? It is a humble refuge, nothing more. Now, we really must see what information we can draw from the stacks of Cyphers Midden. What do we already know about the relic, the right and the dream? You and Gadain recovered a portion of the relic, yep. the Fulcrum Obscura, from the catacombs of Necrom. Okay, yeah. The right appears to be related to a black book once in the possession of Magister Meln. Both seem to be essential to the enemy's search for a dream. How can they search for a dream? Apocrypha contains all secrets and knowledge. Whether they be dreams or memories or tomes, they all wind up here. We know that Torvasard learned something at the Tranquil Catalogue. We need to conduct our own research now and try to get ahead of them. How can they find a dream in Apocrypha? That is what we must determine. The various repositories of Apocrypha are infinite. Books, glyphics, vaults. We have ascertained that if this particular secret is uncovered, it has the potential to destroy reality as we know it. That must not happen. Of course, of course. Um, search the stacks. B stacks, or do you want me to go to different? No, you're not following me as well. Um, there's stacks everywhere. This stack. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going inside a building. Oh, okay. I, I imagined I was searching outside. Like you. you know, I don't think I remember you saying go inside. But okay. Fine. Off I go. We were here earlier. This would be what the other person was doing when we were in here, wondering what they were doing going into all the corners. They're using the scroll. Over here. Oh. See if that scroll Leronel gave you actually works. Okay. What are you doing there, Mel? The spell drew that book from the stack. Quick, grab it. What a disconsorting feeling. One day everything is fine, the next worry and anxiety fill your every waking moment and you're certain something is missing something important something vital i am experiencing that now i feel as though something i knew intimately and completely yesterday vanished not a trace remains except for a vague dream my work suffers i've asked my fellow ciphers if they are experiencing the same sense of loss they quickly look away refusing to answer I know this sounds insane, but I think reality has somehow changed. Someone or something has erased what was true and absolute just yesterday. And the worst part is, I have no idea what I lost. My superior has cautioned me against this, but I must speak directly to the Great Eye. If something altered reality, surely our master would be... would want to be informed. Perhaps I'll be rewarded for noticing this change. An ancient tome describing lost memory is barely remembered in a dream? Mm, too bad you only retrieved a few pages. Mm, this stack might contain something important. Maybe. It's burning up! Quickly, grab whatever remains! When the Great Eye answered the prayers of the mortal, Prior Durdrin, and granted him the runes needed to craft a relic of Apocrypha, the Fulcrum Obscura, the Lord of Secrets imbued the runes with the power to locate and uncover secrets, no matter where they may hide, and the Prior inscribed them on an ancient bone related to Necrom's history. Now, it is the opinion of this cipher that the Prince of Fate never intended for the mortal to retain the relic, nor was it meant to retain, remain forever entombed within the catacombs of Necron. I expect the Great Eye to retrieve the Fulcrum Obscura at some point, or grant it to another of the faithful when the time is right. 
Until then, allow me to record the miracles ascribed to the relic, for what other gift of Hermaeus Mora allows a devotee to locate a place desired or to reveal a secret of great importance? For example, da, da, da. Sorry, I put my phone on Do Not Disturb because I just had a notification come through and I just... It's almost as if someone is eliminating these books the moment you find them. Hmm, at least you recovered something. Maybe. Um, yeah, I don't want it to ring by mistake and disturb me. So I have put it on. Do not stir. What a mess! Have they no respect for the written word? Where have you been this whole time I've been running around Apocrypha? The whole place is littered with books. A place that exists inside a pocket realm of Apocrypha. The infinite pan panopticon serves as one of Hermaeus Mora's most secure repositories of secret knowledge. In addition to being hidden in a shifted dimension, the entrance to the Panopticon constantly moves. It never appears in the same location twice. Other defences are rumoured to protect the Panopticon, including shifting chambers and corridors. Any army of the hushed and other guardians too powerful and obscure to describe accurately. Oh. Well, I'll be the harsh and guardians. Okay. What secret knowledge demands such precautions, you may ask? Only knowledge that the great eye considers too dangerous or too revealing to be trusted into anyone's care except his own. Legend claims that these secrets are stored in books and scrolls, in glyphics or spe of specific design, or within fragments of Mora's own memory contained within his own free-floating eyes. It is said that spending too long within the Panopticon will drive the mortal mind insane. Whoa! Take the books, search the stacks, talk to Scroot. Did you have anything to say? Another disturbance in the currents of fate. Oh, hello. And what do I find? The Great Eye's mortal surrogate. Hello! Again. Once again, the water of fate ripples with unnatural disturbances. As if some huge clod tossed a rock into a still pond. And what huge clod do I find at the center of these ripples? The Great Eye's mortal surrogate. What ripples are you talking about, Scrut? As I explained on the mortal plane, I am tasked with aligning wrinkles in the annals of fate. How I accomplish that is totally up to me. But when something alters fate's prescribed path, it makes ripples. Just like the one I followed here. We're searching these stacks for information about the relic, the rite, and the dream. Interesting. It would be good to know more about what the agents of Vermina and Periite seek in my master's realm. Did anything out of the ordinary occur while you were conducting your search? All of the books we found crumbled before we could get more than a little information out of them. I was afraid of that. Whatever you're involved in may be beyond my jurisdiction. I suspect the secrets you hope to uncover fall under the direct protection of Apocrypha itself. The Great Eye has put precautions in place to keep them hidden. What does that mean, exactly? It means you have been given an impossible task. And it may taint my otherwise spotless record. This is not good. Not good at all. Take whatever you learned and bring it to Laramal the Wise. Hopefully she can make sense of this conundrum. I don't understand why this has you so upset, Scrit. Of course not. Why would you? You're only mortal. You were selected to help Hermaeus Mora save Apocrypha and Nern. To do that, you must uncover the- Oh shoot! Poison. No, 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 no! Everything. Didn't mean to do that! Go ahead, mortal. Consult with Laramil. She has a talent uh, for determining what the Great Eye truly demands sorry. of his chosen. The rest of us? <laughs> the bitter oh, truth no. is- I can still do it. Hang on. We're just- Grains of sand waiting to be washed away by the rain of destiny. Aww. 
Of course not. Why would you? You're right, only mortal. Mouth. You were selected to help Hermaeus Mora save Apocrypha and Nern. To do that, you must uncover the very secrets the Great Eye's enemies pursue. Secrets that can unravel reality as we know it. And you think the books crumbled because some of some sort of protection Hermaeus Mora has in place? Obviously. Everything of Apocrypha is of Hermaeus Mora. Only through the Great Eye's will could the sacred tomes be destroyed. You were chosen, and then I was unlucky enough to become involved. For good or ill, our fates have become tangled. And that means... For me to complete my task, you must succeed in yours. Which is clearly impossible since you can't overcome Apocrypha's protections. Which means you won't be able to save fate. So I suppose it doesn't really matter. Reality will unravel soon enough. Uh, maybe. We'll see. To Levermill. Here last I saw her, but has she gone to some other books? Oh. Friend, Laramil is waiting for you in her study. Oh. Hi. How are you doing? Laramil had the hardest time extracting anything useful out of these stacks. And every time she found something promising, it crumbled to dust or burned to ash. Anyway, she's in her study. You should go in and let her know if you fared any better. Mm, same thing was happening to me, so well, we'll see. Just mentioned about the Procopticon or whatever it was. Oh, she's stubbing one out. The midden stacks have been reluctant to yield the answers I had hoped for. Apocrypha itself works against you, but the Great Eyes surrogate had some success. Indeed. Show me, Proxy. I'm just gonna look at the size of the eye first. Thank you. Thank you. I thought it. Just uh, screw the bookshelf. I'm getting annoyed trying to find it. Oh, these wardrobes are very primal looking. I suppose it is a bit of a rough place that we're in. Hi. Is it true? Were you able to successfully gather research on the relic, the right, and the lost dream? Every time I thought I found something relevant, it crumbled or burned up before I could examine it. Same, but I saved these pages concerning the relic, lost memories, and the infinite panopticon. So you experienced something similar? Yes. As though the stacks were actively trying to keep the information hidden. Still, Maybe, yeah. you managed to save some of the research. A reflection of your role as fate's proxy, perhaps. Let me peruse these pages. I'm not w sure what any of this actually means or how it helps us. Hmm. This implies the relic was specifically created to reveal hidden secrets. Do these secrets pertain to the ancient cipher's report regarding the dream of a lost memory? And this last one. Could the enemy be seeking the infinite panopticon? Imagine so, that's what I put together. Um, but what is the infinite panopticon? Only one of Hermaeus Mora's most secure repositories of secret knowledge. It exists within a pocket realm of Apocrypha, but the entrance constantly shifts locations. Of course, they must be using the Fulcrum Obscura to reach the panopticon. So how do we use this information, Lermil? You and Gadain must use the part of the relic you possess to do the same as the enemy. Locate the entrance to the Panopticon. There are cairns throughout the realm. Sprinkle this dust of conjunction on three of them, then let Gadain apply the relic. How do these cairns help us find the entrance to the infinite Panopticon? Applying the dust to the three cairns I marked on your map will form a matrix of magicka. Gadain like shall use the relic on each. Then I can perform a ritual to locate the Panopticon's entrance. I shall also give Gadain a gift. Something to protect him. A gift? 
a charm that will provide Gadain with some measure of safety as you travel through Apocrypha. Please keep him safe, Proxy. Even with the charm, he seems overly fragile. Each hmm. cairn should glow after the successful application of dust and relic. I'll watch out for Curate Gadain, but are you certain this will work? Research is often a series of trials and errors. Stop but minutes. yes, this should work. In addition to its normal properties, the relic should also seek out its other half. After you activate the three cairns, return here. Then I shall complete the ritual. Okay. Gadain. Take this charm. It shall mark you as my guest in Apocrypha and keep you safe. That's most thoughtful, Laramel. Thank you. The infinite panopticon is kept hidden for a good reason, Laramel. Which is why we must locate it and protect it from the enemy. This is a sort of quandary that makes my tentacles twitch. How fun. Okay, so we leaving? Right, okay, we can leave. I thought they would be going with me. I'll be walking like the same way. It's a shame you, you haven't got a mount. You're gonna be running fast. <laughs> Hope you can move your legs. Move your legs. We don't know what the hell that was, but move your legs. Activate the cairns. Are they in the tunnels? Huh. Interesting. Not sure if I ever recall seeing anything in the tunnels that yeah. made me feel cans, but I have no idea what cans are. Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming that kind of earns. Because I was thinking of the cisterns that were sort of laying, uh, lounging about, but I don't think I've seen any in here. Oh, actually, I think I might know something similar. That the, the alcove things, weren't there? Oh, I can actually harvest things now to go through. I wasn't Been such a rush. Oh, Chroma Incognito. Do you think Laramil has read all these books? All of these books? What are we looking at, books? Why did that come out of nowhere? Here we go. Oh yeah, we need to keep an eye out for arcane books and the ritual things. Exploration. The abhorrent half, the abhorrent hushed, and the spectral books. I haven't found a single one though. Those. Okay. Sprinkles and dust. I suppose I just need to hold the relic out like so. It, it almost feels alive in my hand. It worked. Look how it glows! Very smart. Lyramil's tapping into the realm's currents of fate to find the Panopticon. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Keep an eye out for ritual things. What are you? Are you a person? Not something to kill. See, I like this place better than the other. Oh, sky shot! Laramel's amazing. Who else could help us find the Panopticon? Oh God, we've got a little fanboy, have we? You're not going to be gushing over her the whole time, are you? You know, you're perfectly capable or perfectly alright for you to travel Look, in silence. Oh, that's a different shape. 
no, maybe not. It's just a thing behind it. I'm looking for ritual things and books. Rituals and books. Rituals and books. Rituals and books. What? Oh! You I heard something. Attack this boat. Okay. Give me a moment to focus the Fulcrum Obscura. Treasure chest down here. Let's go and dig that up. Get closer to me, friend. You've just literally left yourself there because I've gone off. <laughs> Who is it? Practically on top of it, but I do not see the dig site. Uh, what? Yeah. On here? No, it's not going to be on here. Surely not. I think he's having the same trouble, looking for a treasure chest, treasure map thing. Whoop! <gasps> See daisies. Whip! I wish that curate would stop coming up. I'm trapped in here! Help me! Yeah, I did that last time and you attacked me. You can stay in now. She said she... Curse this fetching confinement! When I get out of here. on earth do I get this treasure this treasure chest? Is it on top of this maybe that I've got to jump to it? Oh that's a very cheeky one. Very cheeky indeed. Their loss. I think that I'll guy gain. might have seen oh You managed it? Yeah, it's up here, sir. Uh, it's a very, very cheeky one. <laughs> yeah, exactly the same thing I was. We were both trying to discover what the hell was going on. <laughs> okay. I thought it was like a glitched and bugged out one. I thought they'd like inside the mountain at some point, you know, the spawn point and ruined itself. Um, I am trying to keep an eye out for these things, but my eyes are struggling to focus on anything because it's just they're so busy. It could be anything. Like looking for an ancient arcane book. I mean, I don't know what the hell it's gonna look like. Ooh, this is interesting. I like this. You not? No, no, that be an arcane book. No. Anything interesting here? An arcane book, a place of worship thingy. Like it. I bet I can't go back the way I came, can I? Oh, I can. It's just <laughs> parkour that they've put into the game. No, I, I approve. I approve. Okay. Oh, there was a. Oh, it's an alchemy rip. It's probably down the bottom. 
want help with this. Stupid sticky yuppy things. What's that? That's shiny. Well, I had something like this before, but it didn't count for the Arkham, did it? Did I get it? Is that one of them? That was one of them, but the other one that I found didn't tick off. At least now we know what they look like. They are on a pedestal on a lectern and they glow in purpley colours, but the other one that I got didn't count. Where did I find that again? I think I found that up here, didn't I? I'm going to have to go and investigate some of these. Let's get down to this safely without killing myself. Better overstocked than under. Go and get that survey done. Yeah. Okay, here. Bulging herbalist satchel. I don't think I've ever you know done what that's good for? a survey. Ah, you'll figure it out. Where it's a satchel. It's the first time I've done this. Because you just lush something. Okay. So we found one book. Maybe all the spectral books are in here, and that's why I've not found them all yet. That could be another reason. Maybe they're all in the top zone. But then would that mean that all the shrine things, the ritual things, are in the other zone? Hmm. Both viable, but I'm hoping not. <laughs> and that means then I've got to go run around the other zone and try and find the two ritual sites. And I did find a book thing there which isn't in the zone, so I think it's more the former than the latter. I think it got that order right. I don't remember what I said in what order. The other keepers are never going to believe this. Usually when we misplace a relic, we find it behind a couch in the abbey. <laughs> oh. Our fate arrived. We have fallen. Hello. You approach a mere shadow, mortal. The remnants break under the assault of invaders. Perhaps this is our Lord's will. Do you know the dream carvers? Uh, no the servants of Vermina. As we speak, they tear apart our fortress, the cenotaph. Um what what could the dream carvers want from you? 
The remnants are... were... blades of Lord Hermaeus Mora. He imbued us with a portion of himself, so we could defend his realm. Hermes For Mora's eons, army. this pact held. Now, the dream carvers may take our gifts for themselves. How could they take your pact? We secured the pact inside a space called the Crux. Should the dream carvers enter this space, our gifts become theirs to steal. Mortal, the invaders cannot gain these powers. Help us purge them from the cenotaph. We reward aid when given. I'll help you against the dream carvers and protect your pact. Any effort you provide sure. puts us in your debt. The cenotaph lies in the north. Just outside, you will find a group of surviving remnants. Look for Tiss. Stay cautious, mortal. The dream carvers attack your mind long before they reach your flesh. Can you tell me more about the remnants? There was a time when any who walked through Apocrypha knew of us. We patrolled this realm for the Thieves of Secrets. Our reach extended to the mortal world, where we gathered any wisdom that deserved protection. <laughs> we were a force unmatched. What happened to change that? Mm, an excellent question. We felt our power wane long before the Dream Carvers attacked. And now, we can hear so few of our minds. That which connects the remnants grows silent. Hmm. When you reach Tiss outside the Cenotaph, ask her why this has come to be. Tell me about the attack. We only know a little. The Dream Carvers caught us by surprise. They made no sound. No shouting, no crash of shields. Hmm. Just a sharp feeling of loss as we fell, one by one. A call came to flee and rally nearby. <laughs> we did not bother to stop running. Tell me about yourself. There was a time when any who walked through Apocrypha knew of us. We patrolled this realm for the Thieves of Secrets. Oh, you already told me. Our reach extended to the mortal world, where we gathered any wisdom that deserved protection. Okay. <laughs> That's why it was grey. I didn't remember we clicking on it. force unmatched. All right, okay, fine. Thank you. Um, let's go help you out then. Out for books, look There's out. the final can. All right, all right, just steady. What the hell is that over there glowing? Oh, these couldn't pick you out of what I was seeing. See, this is just a really random placement of something here, like just a random bookshelf in the wilderness. catches me off guard every time I see something like that. <laughs> Can I get this? Well, look at that. Yeah, look at that. How fancy. Put the dust on. Dust applied. Now to use the relic. Oh my. It wriggled in my hand. All done. Let's return to Laramil's study and let her know she can proceed. Okay. We're not returning just yet. We have someone else to help <clears throat> while we're here. Watch it. It was an armored one, and that one's not. I had a funny feeling that this looked seem tougher. Than the others I have killed of that kind. No, no hunger. You just relax. You just chill. Get back to chilling out. That's it. Yes. Just chill out. Oh, hang on. There's a treasure over 
treasure chest here. I knew I was coming here for a reason. I didn't think it was a treasure chest. I thought it was more looking for a place of interest and an achievement thingy. Yeah. What did I? Oh, I just transformed Someone left like this a here? Bull. It's yours now. Damn it. My reflexes are a bit slow. I thought I'd pressed E on the chest and I hadn't. And I pressed R to loot all of it. Big glowy green thing. The, play the book didn't look like that, did it? I don't think there's going to be another book that close to the other one. Surely not. I'm always walking sideways. <laughs> I'm looking for everything else. I'm traveling forward still. Nothing on there. Don't see anything under the bridge. You see that thingy? Ooh. Oh, that's the sound tap. Okay, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Okay. Where? Oh. One of the tunnels. Oh, it is. One of the oh, oh, we came out of here before, I think. Yes, when we went up there. Oh no. Yeah, I'm supposed to be down there. Building up a staff. Good thinking. Good thinking. Yes, yes, good thinking. Tiss, this must be Tiss. We need you. Empty. Empty. So quiet. Greetings, Outworlder. We know why you came, and we offer gratitude for your timely assistance. Uh, Zenkif sent me to help defend the Cenotaph? Our situation grows dire. Very few of us still stand, and we can no longer hear those who do. The Dream Carvers must not reach the Crux, but we cannot stop them in our weakened state. You, however, are an unexpected development. What do you need me to do? Dream Carvers swarm our fortress. It is theirs now. While our pact still exists, so do the remnants. Stop clinging to a dead order. We must accept our fate. This mortal can change our fate. Stay here. Tend to the stricken. Okay. More recruits. Um, okay, I don't see books and potentially things there. Oh, sh <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Oh, dear me. I think we got upstairs, not in here, yeah? No, why are we going in here? Really? Why are we going in here? Interesting. That's not what you I was could expecting. Craft something nice with that. Cenotaph of the Remnants. We entered unseen. Come, let us plan. Right. Hi. These caves wind through the cenotaph's lower levels. Many of our defensive measures originate here and extend through the fortress. The dream carvers disabled our wards as they invaded. We must reset them. How do we reset the wards? We will find them north of here. They will require both of our efforts to set. You must hold the trigger while we funnel energy into it. Okay. Once set, the wards will drive most of the dream carvers from the cenotaph. All right, let's find the wards. We may run into dream carvers as we search. Do not hesitate to dispatch them with prejudice. Remember, they will reform in oblivion over time. You will not. Let us move north through the tunnels. We will alert you when we find a ward. Why did the remnants place these wards under the fortress? They are meant to deal with any thieves that should find their way Damn, inside. That wasn't an option. Can't we do it now. store many 
of Hermaeus Mora's treasured secrets here, after all. When active, their power floods the entire cenotaph. But that will take time. Huh. Okay. This dream carver spell opens a void in our thoughts. It feels like an embrasure. Who's next? Time to go left then. Helping your stricken friend here. Hello. Come on. We can recharge this power now. A desk, a bookshelf. There's something over here to loot. God, it's so hard to see and tell. Come. We can recharge this power node. Okay, I'm activating it. Our fire trap should ignite now. Okay. We nope. may run it. Oh, we how long have the remnants had the senator? A time existed when the remnants had no home. We served as wandering knights for our lord. Then, as if flung through the void, this castle landed within Apocrypha. We took this as a gift and soon occupied it. Huh. Fair enough. Did you think I was? Mobs. <laughs> I've done that mistake several times over. Right, you are annoying me, getting in the way of my urn looting. So you come this way, so it should be clear then, huh? Ah. This should surprise our invaders. What traps work now? Lightning ones? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's Going to search for urns. If they come to me, fine. Okay. Oh, there's a. No, it's not. Oh, I thought that was a nightstand. Sorry! Stop running in front of me! I don't want to talk to you. I want to loot. I'm looking for urns. Trunks and desks. So the corner of my eye, I just walked past it. Oh, there's a couple more here. Okay. A power note. Let us charge it. <gasps> Red God Death bolted that I don't know, so I'm going to learn. Yum, 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 yum. That covers our exits. Let us talk about next steps. Hold on a minute. I want to have a look at what I just picked up from one of your urns. No! Not you! What did I get? Oh, that's alright. It's not great. But yum, yum. Wait, what's up? With the traps powered, we should find navigating the cenotaph much easier. They should destroy most of the invaders with ease. However, they won't get them all. We need to determine how close they are to reaching the Remnant Pact. And how do we learn that? We head to the courtyard. If the Dream Carvers wish to breach the Crux, they must go there to do it. The passage to the east will take us to a balcony. We can assess their progress from there. 
Yeah, well, the other thing is the traps might be activated. Does that also mean that they might be activated to catch us too? I mean, might make navigating a little bit harder for myself. But for now, I want... Oh, what's down here? Oh, it leads down to that. Okay. Interesting. Didn't know that. Well, we'll just go back up then. No need to go down now. Right, let's get on. What is that? Oh, it's a little book. Don't know what I thought that was. Clues. Note from Uxunaf. We've done it. Our strike against the remnants broke their order. The cenotaph now belongs to the dream carvers. There's still much to do before we claim the remnants' power as our own. The remnants keep their pact with Hermaeus Moore locked away inside a pocket realm they call the Crux. This pact is the core of their power and the target of our assault. The stones I've disturbed are attuned to my vestige. Use them for the ritual I described earlier. Once my essence merges with the remnants, the walls of the crux will crumble. Will you shut up? Fragments of the ritual medium. We can learn from that. Okay. This is vision. A sample of my vestige for each stone. This unlocks the way. That is the ritual's core. Her own essence. Okay. Alone. 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 Where are they? We are lost. To alone. What are you saying? We cannot stand being alone. Dream cover magic squirms through our mind. It wants our secrets. It wants inside. You won't be alone if you let it inside. Remnants function as a whole. Why isolate us? Because you're dumb when you're alone? Because you don't know how to function the alone? creature, Uzanath, she leads these invaders. We know her reputation. Savage and impatient. No wonder she managed to take the cenotaph by force. To use her own vestige as fuel for the ritual presents a massive risk. What do you make of what we found? The walls of the Crux cannot break. We connected the locks to the Remnant's mental web. Only we may enter unscathed. Uzanath's ritual siphons Remnant minds. She blends their psychic energy with her own essence. What does that mean? What it means, mortal, is she has crafted a key to the Crux. Once she blends enough Remnant minds with her own vestige, she will appear as one of us. Huh. The Crux will open. The pact will be exposed. What do we do? We search the grounds, find other ritual foci, and destroy them. Steal yourself. Dream carvers roam everywhere. I'll destroy the ritual foci. We did not choose our fortress. It arrived when we needed it most. Once, sounds of training and discussion echoed through the halls. As our numbers dwindled, the cenotaph fell quiet. What can you tell me about the ritual? Uzanath steals our defining feature. The thing that makes us remnants. Our mental web. The connection that binds us. 
We believe it is more than a means of sharing knowledge. It amplifies us. What do you mean? Think of the power nodes we charge. Our pact with Lord Mora is the kernel from which the Remnant's gifts emerge. Our mental web amplifies those gifts. The more who are connected, the stronger we become. To isolate us from it is savagery. You recognize the Dreamcarver leader? The Remnants keep watch on many of the other clans. Our calling is the defense of Apocrypha, after all. We once had agents across more realms than a mortal's mind can hold. Perhaps we can regain that reach once more. Hmm, maybe. Not speak too quickly. Well, not we one. did not choose our fortress. It arrived when we needed it most. So what is happening to these remnants? Once, we no longer feel their presence in our mental connection. The dream carvers had learned a way to isolate us, severing us from ourselves. Huh. Such a process, it seems, drives us to madness. I guess if you're not of your right mind, you've been stripped of it entirely, then I guess that could make sense. You would go. Oh. How did I hit him through you? Through you? That's it. I don't know. I guess I'm just clever that way. Get the mind terror. Okay. Stay ready. Never know what else might be headed our way. Picking up a lot from you, I think. He's level up again. I have the ritual focus. Destroy it. Good. That should weaken the ritual. Lots and lots of juicy rituals. I didn't really hear what Sharp had to say. I think he said something about picking things from me, or I'm picking up things from him. Destroy the ritual! Sever the connection! Just keep searching. It is destroyed. Right, let's go into the tower. I didn't really look around. Too busy focused on what's in front of me and down on the floor rather than what's in the sky. And okay. Considering I just got a purple Breton urn, I don't want to not loot now. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like a juicy thing just to keep me looting. Keep me obsessed. You! Our pact with Lord Mora is sacred! Do not dare enter the crux! Here you are, the rats scudding around to cause trouble. Despite your efforts, I have what I need. Good try, though. Quick, we need to plan. Why am I always so lured? Right, what? No! After everything, we were too slow! They have entered the Crux and can access our pact with Lord Hermaeus Mora! The remnants may actually end. Can we follow her into the Crux? Perhaps. No one has entered for countless eons. The remnants have keys to the Crux, but we have never needed them. Until now. Where are these keys? We need the journal of the first remnant. It will tell us which relics we need to place around the circle to open the door. There is little time. We must go now. Find the relics. Hurry. I'm going. I'm going. It was a desk of some sort. It's just a bit of structure. Ooh, interesting room. It just. You are absolutely frustratingly annoying standing right where I. Ah! Need to be. Not where I need to be. 
Just all the things I want to loot. Right. Journal of the First Remnant. For those who collect knowledge and service of our Lord, the history of the remnants is poorly documented. We are not scholars inclined to write down every thought, nor curators who quietly organise collections in obscurity. The remnants are soldiers, swords and shields that serve the will of Hermes Mora. However, if we are to fill the task of securing wisdom from across the Orbis, certainly that includes our own. Alone adrift in the void, we heard a voice that we instantly knew flowed from the mind of the eye of all. It communicated a deep need. The realms of Apocrypha needed champions, a muscular arm to hold back invaders who sought knowledge they did not earn. Our Lord selected us for this task and we obliged. We discovered two items upon arrival at our new home, a spyglass and a key. They each radiated a power that surged from this realm through the void and into a place we did not know. Our essences merged with these relics to open a gateway into a small pocket we, have, we would come to call the crux. As we stepped through, our minds merged as one. Remnants joined into the world, one body in service of the Lord. Um, also, into one whole, sorry, not one world. We knew that this crux was intended for us alone. A belief confirmed when we saw a written pack awaiting us with our signatures already added. Finding this place and serving this realm had been our fate all along. A journal containing the wisdom of the first remnant. Gather the relics. <laughs> I didn't even see you, I thought you were part of that. That was probably the whole point. <laughs> There's an arrow down here, so I guess I'm going down here. Oh, oh hello, two of you. Where did you come from? I only saw one. Spyglass. That spyglass peers through the void to find new realms. Mm -hmm. Fine enough. I guess we come to here, so we'll just go and get the key. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment indeed. And the ancient key. That key itself is unlocked, which another key then opens. Well done. Now we go to the ritual dais. Yep, which I'm assuming isn't here. It is. So balcony! Oh, we we'll probably come across to that bit that I saw from over there. Yes. Here. We will guide you through the next steps. My mind is not connected, so am I going to be allowed inside the crux? Right. Place the relics where I tell you. Once complete, our power shall flow through them. Hurry. Our power wanes. We can feel it. How do we open the portal? We use the gathered relics. Once placed, our power shall bind them together. They will connect to what remains of the remnant's mental web. The resulting mesh will open the crux. I'm not a remnant. Can I still enter the crux? Exactly. We shall open a door like any other. You will have no problem entering. That said, once inside, we must close the door behind us. Otherwise, we risk a swarm of dream carpers joining us within. Okay. Do I do it now? Place the relics while we channel our power through them. Okay. To pierce the void and see our promise held. To form a lock that holds tight the door. To bind us all through ancient wisdom. We opened the way. Enter the crux, Outworlder. Go in. Woo! Wait, 
our connection. We have gone silent. Okay. Hello. Empty. You, Remnant! There's nothing here! Trickery? I shall take your mind. Okay. Show them what you're made of. She is right. It is empty. Except for this. Should have been more prepared. A book. Pact of the remnants. There is nothing here. The room is empty. Even the book has... Follow. We must think. Sorry, I didn't know you were still talking. I thought I could leave the book and you'd still carry on, but now you stopped. My bad. Okay, we are leaving. I have no clue what happened here. What does this mean, mortal? Mm -hmm. need your guidance. As far back as we can recall, the remnants believed we directly served Hermaeus Mora. Our connection to him drove us to defend his will. Perhaps that was a lie. The pact was nothing. A shattered flame with a rotting book. Why is the book of the pact empty? Further, where does our power come from? We cannot say. Now, we must decide. Do we tell the remnants of our discovery? It would surely destroy us. Or do we use the victory to reinvigorate the clan? Show that Apocrypha still needs our defense? Yeah, I mean, for them to have the power, that it must have come from them themselves. I thought that myself. Um, so I'm gonna go with that one then. Um, this must mean your power is your own. You should rebuild the remnants. An excellent point. Our goals do not need to come from some external source. We can reinvest in our purpose on our own. Perhaps others will join out of a desire to gather knowledge, instead of to serve another. How do you feel about rebuilding? We feel more certain than ever about our task. Our clan will gather and discuss how to prioritize. The cenotaph of the remnants will become the sword and shield of Hermaeus Mora once again. I hope the order rebuilds successfully. It's only through your efforts that we have a chance to rebuild. The remnants will rise again and last for eternity. All thanks to you. Mm. This outcome was okay. unexpected. Nonetheless, you earned this. We offer it in gratitude. Hmm, thank you. What comes next feels mysterious. Perhaps the others will have an idea of how to proceed. Like. Until then, you have our gratitude, Outworlder. May we fight alongside each other again in the future. What are your plans now? We shall rebuild. Our order may have seemingly collapsed, but perhaps we can rebuild stronger. We will create a more solid foundation. We still believe in serving Hermaeus Mora. The task is still worthwhile. We feel rededicated. Good. They have emerged and unharmed. What fate comes for our order, then? See what we have done. The Cenotaph stands. Our order can rekindle its strength. This proves it. Our gifts return, and we hear our thoughts once more. Perhaps the remnants can still serve. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, 
How's that episode? An hour and ten minutes down the line. Good to get stocked up. So, didn't get too much done. That took a lot longer than I expected it would, but there we go. I guess I'll have to see you all in the next episode. Hopefully. And hopefully you'll enjoy it. So until then, I'll see you in episode 13.